Senna. Pals. So we're about to look at the teaser trailer for Inside Out 2. Before we jump into it, I just want to attempt to be vulnerable with you guys more than normal because I'm generally, you know, open and vulnerable. But like this is a particularly special story for me associated with Inside Out. So I got to watch it years ago at a screening. And the person I watched it with was the daughter of someone who I was dating at the time. She must have been five or six years old. And that little girl looked at me as her father for those four years. And so we watched Inside Out together. Gosh, just like thinking about this is kind of, we shared collectively like a really bad cry. And I was like, I can never watch this movie again. Nothing will ever come close to being this special experience ever again. And also that movie's gosh darn manipulative. It like gets inside your soul, inside your system, and it just wrecks you. And I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't need to, there are a number of reasons not to revisit this film. And then lo and behold, we've got the Inside Out 2 teaser trailer that's dropped. And I don't know like how to prime myself for this, given, you know, the aforementioned. I am Jabby Koei. Thank you so much for joining. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know that you're enjoying what you're watching, if you are. Oh boy, here we go. Our little girl's growing up so fast. And things couldn't be better. Oh, I thought that was like what is that? a heart rate monitor for a second. <laughs> oh, she gone goth? What's going on? Okay, let's clear it all out. It's demo day! <laughs> Do I look orange? I didn't touch it. Orange is not my color. Not me. Oh no. Hello. Ah! Oh what my gosh, I'm anxiety. Where can I put my stuff? A new emotion. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. We wanted to make such a good first impression. Uh, uh, what do you mean we? Oh God. <laughs> what do you mean we? All right, I can already imagine where this is headed. That's that's very ballsy on Pixar's part. One of the nice things about Inside Out was how it was kind of speaking to all the experiences that we can have, especially as a kid, that it, and it, it sort of helps you as a kid to sort of to, to wrap your head around all these things you're going through and these feelings. It's anthropomorphizing all the individual aspects of your personality and helps you to kind of decode you. It's like therapy, right? I mean, Inside Out 1 took you to some dark places to help you come out the other side a better person. Life is full of cycles, you know? It's full of the, 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 the hills and valleys. Inside Out is actually a perfect vehicle to explore something like this. It's, you know, when you play a video game, for me, the easiest example would be Infamous, right? You beat Infamous, and then you go to Infamous 2, and then it resets all your powers. You gotta go from scratch, almost, again, right? And this happens a lot with video games, where you go into the sequel, and it kind of resets you, you gotta earn all your shit back again. Zelda, that's a better example that most people know. So with movies, it's, it's, you have a similar conundrum. It's like, okay, if your character reaches a certain level, like, then what? Like, how do you do a follow-up to that in a meaningful way if your character has come out the other side a totally different person, a better person? Inside Out is just dealing with the, the nature that is being a human being. And you go through hills and valleys all the time in life. I think anxiety is definitely something that we collectively feel in a way that is so profound that we all can kind of share because there's so much going on in the world all the time that is well outside of our control. Whether or not you're a control freak, I think having some semblance of feeling like you're in control of your life, you know, I think we can all relate to that and lacking that immediately anxiety at least for me i know i am very intimately familiar with anxiety the royal we <laughs> that is referenced in this teaser is interesting because it's exploring i i'm i'm assuming it's exploring the whole thing of the conversation around gender and whatnot 
I, I don't know. That's I, I'm guessing. It seems like an obvious direction to go, given the times we're in, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What's also fascinating to me, though, Pixar can do a sequel many years removed from the last one for an animation and get away with it. You know, like how far apart was Toy Story 3 and 4? How far apart was Incredibles 1 and 2? That's a better example. Cars, I feel like, has had sequels very, you know, spread apart. It's just interesting that, you know, Pixar can get away with doing that and people will turn up. I feel like, I feel like people will, It's it, I don't know, like if you saw it as a kid, you'll still come back for it because it speaks to your nostalgia. What's also special about Pixar is that they generally do their stories or traditionally have done their stories in such a way that it can speak to both kids and grown-ups. It does a nice job of balancing that. They sort of set the standard for that kind of thing. Nonetheless, I'm definitely intrigued by this. I'm very apprehensive just because of my experience with the first one. Outside of it not being able to touch the, the Everest of that experience of uh, Inside Out Part 1 and what I was like sort of experiencing at that time. Just that apart, the film makes me apprehensive because of how dark it can get. I wouldn't use the word gritty because that's not an appropriate description, but just like a sadness, like the um, the level of sadness you can experience watching. And, Mick, and Pixar is like notorious for manipulating you in that way. I think the dinosaur was the one that did it the worst, where it was like actively trying to make you, to mess you up. Every time I watch a Pixar film, I'm, I'm primed and ready for that. But like I said, Inside Out is just on another level with it. As far as I can tell, they've retained the style from the first one, like not much has changed maybe there's like upgrades in terms of technology you know they're, they're able to refine the characters with better textures and stuff like that i can't see it also i'm watching this on a laptop normally i'm watching on a big tv off of my pc but my pc is occupied with some kind of update or something i can't tell if this looks you know miles better than than the first one it looks pretty much the same to me which i don't mind the way they kicked off this teaser was great though because you know first they establish a baseline of like familiarity these are the characters that you experienced before. You know, this is kind of what they went through, yada, yada, yada. And then it upends all of that shit immediately with like the most obnoxious thing possible, okay? Across the street from the, the space where we shoot most of our videos, there's construction going on. It's been going on for over a year and it'll go on for another eight months at least. Across from, where, you know, where I live, there is construction going on. The just the, the most obnoxious sounds that that just cut through windows, and it it feels like it's next to your head. It's so aggravating. And so to come in with a bunch of construction workers who are inside your safe space, no less. That's a very, I know that feeling. You know, it almost feels like the third act of Mother by Darren Aronofsky. Not only that, but they leave behind this new thing that you got to deal with. <laughs> Whether or not I, you know am brave enough to go and watch this. Whether or not I'll go check it out for myself, I feel like what they're doing here is actually very smart. I'm looking forward to the audience's reaction to it at the very least. You guys, thanks so much for hanging with me for this little time and uh, hang with me some more. Hit that subscribe button, please. Bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching if you did. All right, that's it for now. I'm Jabby Kawe. Peace out.